Hey Scorpios, I'm back guys. <laughs> Peace, love, light, and healing energy. This is Tasha with Intuitive Scorpio Tarot 888. Hope you guys are doing amazing. So, I'm going to give you guys a different energy today. So, we're going to tap into why did this person ghost at you. Kind of find out what's the true reason, what's the real reason behind them ghosting you, okay? Alright, so please take what resonates, leave what doesn't. <clears throat> If you're new, welcome to the channel. I would love to have you. You can have Scorpio as your sun, moon, rising, or Venus placement. Doesn't matter. The reading can resonate with you. And of course, if you are returning, welcome back. Make sure that you have your notification bell on. So that's where you know when I post readings, upload readings, or, you know, just go live. Okay. All right. What do we have for Scorpio? Tell me about the person that goes to Scorpio. Why did this person ghost this Scorpio? Spirit, angels, gods, and divine ancestors. Please protect my energy as I open this spiritual portal. Let no weapon form against me shall prosper. Please return all dark forces. Evil eye, witchcraft, blockages, monitoring spirits online and offline. Return it all back to cinder tenfold. So what it be? Amen and amen. So I'm only just using tarot, okay? All right. So <clears throat> spirit angels and gods, why did this person ghost this Scorpio? What is the true reason? Why did this person go Scorpio? All right, so we have the Emperor here. So this is a masculine energy, possibly an Aries. All right, we also have the Tower. Scorpio Aries energy. Thank you. We got two more. Eight of Pentacles. And we also have here the Hermit. Yeah. So we got someone that goes to you. Could be a Virgo, Aries, maybe another Scorpio. Hmm. This person could have ghosted you for something to do with work. Hmm. And the way, I feel like the way that they did it, it was very shocking, unexpected. Hmm. This person may have caused chaos in order to leave. Hmm. It seemed like it's something to do with work. It seems like a masculine here. All right, tell me about this emperor. Why did this person ghost this Scorpio? Someone who's like a father figure, maybe a husband, someone you were married to, or a female just in her masculine energy. Oh, wow, we got the justice card here. So someone is going through karma for ghosting you here. Hmm. Wow, this seemed like a broken individual who has a lot of secrets, things that they're hiding from you. Hmm. Wow. Tell me about the tower. Why did this person ghost this Scorpio? Why did this person ghost this Scorpio? What is the tower? Yeah, some of you guys definitely could have been married to this individual. Hold on. Tell me about the tower. Why did this person ghost this Scorpio? Thank you. So we have the Eight of Wands as well as the Two of Cups in reverse. So yeah, you guys are no longer together. There definitely was a breakup, separation, broken communication, tension between you guys. This may have been like a fight, argument, some type of drama that may have happened that caused the breakup. This could have been intentionally. Hmm. Wow. So we have the page of wands, the fool. So this person love. Yeah, they took a leap of faith into another direction. They could have been juggling you with other people, other situations. Yeah, whoever this was, they took a leap of faith to start a new beginning elsewhere. This could strongly be a fire sign. Aries, Sagittarius, maybe even a Leo. Yeah, this person decided to leave you behind. It seemed like they intentionally... This seemed like it, this may have been a verbal argument that caused the breakup. Hmm. Wow. All right. So tell me about the Eight of Pentacles. Why did this person go to Scorpio? Yeah, someone could have intentionally started a verbal argument with you that caused a breakup here. They intentionally caused a shakeup, a breakdown, caused the relationship to be unstable. Mm-hmm. 
and whoever this uh, masculine is, they're definitely getting karma. Yeah, what is the Eight of Pentacles? Why did this person go to Scorpio? It's almost like everything happened kind of fast. What is the Eight of Pentacles? With the Justice, someone could have Libra in their chart. Why did this person go to Scorpio? Oh, all right. So three of cups here. It could have been something to do with a third party. Keep in mind, third party is not always another man, another woman. Could be family, friends. You know, maybe a job situation. Because I do see this eight of pentacles. Hmm. Two of wands, six of swords. This person knows that this was a bold and calculated risk to leave home from you and to go elsewhere. Yeah. And now wherever they are that they left you for, they're kind of stuck in their head about you here, Queen of Wands. All they do is think about you. It's like they're in some type of victim mentality. Mm. Wow. This person could have left you for a third party situation. Yeah. And now they're stuck in whatever they left you for. But they know this was a risk that they took a chance to do. What is the hermit? And of course, take what resonates, leave what doesn't, everyone. Hmm. I don't, you know what? It seems like they started working together with family and friends or some outsiders had something to do with this. Or they weren't involved. Wow. Um, someone could have put a plan together with family and friends. Wow. So... All right, so we have the sun. I feel like everything started to come to life for you as to why this person goes to you. Hmm. It all started to illuminate itself. Wow. Hmm. All right, what is the justice card? So Leo energy with the sun, Libra with justice, Aries, Scorpio, Virgo. So that could be in your chart or your person. All right, tell me about justice. Why did this person go to Scorpio? What is justice? What is going on here? Spirit, angel, gods, divine ancestors. Yeah, this person backstabbed and betrayed you. That's why the universe is giving this person karma. This person also went silent on you with the high priestess. Could be giving you the silent treatment. Mm. Page of Cups. Three of Swords. Wow, whoever this is, they're now wanting to apologize for breaking your heart. This person may be stalking and watching you here. Wow. Mm. They went silent on you or gave you some type of silent treatment. But it seems like they're getting even more harsher karma, this emperor, because they betrayed a chosen one, an earth angel, star seed, a divine feminine who's a high priestess. Mm. And I feel like some of you guys went through this pain on your own. It's like you kept silent about the pain. The failure that happened in this relationship. It was very painful. It hit deep and it ran deep. Mm. All right. What is the eight of wands? Why did this person go to Scorpio? What else is going on? What is the Eight of Wands? Thank you. Seven of Wands here. So if this person is trying to reach out to you in any way, shape, or form, some of you guys may have this individual block where they can't call you or talk to you. Mm. Yeah, they're going crazy behind the scenes. Seem like all this person can think about is the marriage or relationship that you guys had, how they screwed things up. Oh, it's hitting them hard because, see, they're going through karma. Mm -hmm. they want to come towards you but they're kind of dragging their feet here because they know they left you out in the cold they abandoned you yep and they walked away mm -hmm. they walked away from their blessing yep that's the truth ace of swords here you are a star seed chosen one here mm -hmm. wow damn what is the two of cups 
Yeah, I'm getting it was like a verbal fight or verbal altercation that caused the tension between you and them. All right, so we have the world card, fixed signs, Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, and Scorpio, and the nine of wands. Yeah, right now you're broken, you're damaged, you're hurt from all of this that happened. Yeah, you don't want anything to do with this person. This is like, that seven of wands is screaming, stay away from me. <laughs> you're very defensive right now, very guarded. Mm-hmm. It's over. Wow. This cycle between you and this individual is over. Yeah, you you got some words for this person. If they try to come back around, Queen of Swords, yeah. You're blocking them from even to trying to make any type of attempt to try to come towards you. Yeah. Wow. Mm. You went through a lot, a lot of pain, a lot of hurt. <sighs> Yeah, there was some, like, fighting, arguing that may have happened verbally. You stood up for yourself. You defended yourself. You held your own self down. Yeah. What is the three of cups? Why did this person go to Scorpio? What else is going on? What is it that Scorpio needs to know? Oh, too many. What is the three of cups? Spirit, angels, gods, and divine ancestors for Scorpio. What is the Three of Cups? Thank you. All right, so we have two cards. Page of Wands, Sagittarius, and the Knight of Cups. Cap, uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So it seems like this person is wanting to make an attempt to make up to you, talk to you, reconcile with you, try to work things out with this Empress. Mm-hmm. They want to come honest and be clean and tell you some type of truth. Yeah. As to why they snuck away from you or this is someone who they may have had this plan. But little do they know, maybe they left some type of clues for you to figure out. They took most of the evidence, but this is someone who invested into another person, place, situation, and they left you behind. They snuck away to in involve themselves with another situation. They were dishonest with you. They lied to you. Mm -hmm. but they're unsure as to what to do mm -hmm. wow yeah it's like they're wanting to follow their heart to be honest with this empress as to what they invested to why did they keep you waiting why did they ghost at you what they was dishonest about. They want to be honest about the betrayal that happened. Wow. Hmm. So their intention is to work something out with you and talk with you. But I don't know how that's going to work. I don't know. Give me one more for the three of cups. Why did this person go to Scorpio? Tell me more. What's the energy? Spirit, angels, gods, and divine ancestors. What's the Three of Cups? So, yeah, but I only wanted to use Tarot in this deck here for this reading. Wow. Five of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups. This person left you out in the cold for selfish reasons. Selfish reasons here. And I feel like now this person could be missing you. They may be going through financial issues right now. That could be a part of their karma for being selfish, greedy, doing things that only pleases them. Mm. But I yeah, I feel like this person is hiding the fact that they're going through some financial troubles right now. Everything ain't all that good since they left. Yeah, they're kind of like keeping it to themselves, holding that back from you. Yeah. Because they know they walked away from the blessing. This is what's fucking with them right now. That's why they can't lay in the bed that they made. Yep, they fucked up the bag. The blessing, the home, the family, the marriage, the relationship. That's all they can think about is what they messed up. Ace of Swords, that's the truth. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wow. Hold on one second, y'all. Hold on. Hold on one second here. Okay. 
All right, so I'm getting this person could be an Aries, Sagittarius, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, maybe a Virgo. Scorpio, I'm getting you may have Pisces, Cancer in your chart. You could be a tarot reader, light worker, psychic medium. You have a deep connection to the divine, very spiritual, a lot of wisdom here, very intuitive. See, because of who you are, you were protected from this individual. There was a like a pure white light. There was like a, a wall of protection with you after this breakup. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow. What is the sun card here? What's the final message? Why did this person go to Scorpio? Tell me about the sun. Of course. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Take what resonates. Leave what doesn't. What is the sun? Wow. Again, nine of swords. And the fourth one. This person, no, they, they screwed up bad. They screwed up bread. They they this emperor is definitely this masculine energy is definitely getting karma. Some of you guys were married to this person. Now they cannot get out of their head what they have done to a relationship, a twin flame. Yeah, they're still stuck on this. They haven't really let this go, their actions. And even though they ghosted you, Scorpio, they're realizing that they're really not over you. Everything is like coming to the light for them. Like, oh my gosh, I can't get Scorpio out of my head. I fucked up this time. This person could be having nightmares about you. Waking up in the middle of the night, can't sleep. It's like they're beating themselves up. Could be going through depression, trauma. This seems like someone who don't want to face you. They're afraid to face you, face you here. Wow. Yeah, they're still kind of stuck on this situation. Mm. Wow. This person is also going to have to realize how toxic they were. That they need to work on their shadow self. Any type of an addiction, temptation, destructive behavior. I believe this person knows that they were toxic. They, I feel like they are enlightened to the fact that they caused all this toxicity in this marital relationship. Wow. Because they're, they're wanting to come to you and start over with a fresh beginning. But I feel like they're holding themselves back. They don't know what to do or think. Because they did invest it into another person or situation. And they were sneaky and deceptive the way they played it out. They did this on purpose. They did. Mm -hmm. And now they want to be honest with this empress. King of Swords, Empress, Seven of Swords here. They want to tell the truth now. Because, see, you are, you are this divine feminine energy. And spirit is tearing their ass up with that karma. Yeah. Wow. It's like this separation between you and them. This shit is killing them. They're like battling with inside themselves because they want to rush in, chase you, come after you, take action towards you to get your attention again. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They're trying to, like, manifest some type of reconciliation or healing between you and them, the magician and temperance. But emotionally, you have closed off and turned your back on this person. Queen of Cups and the Three of Wands here. And that's what they can't get out of their head. Yeah. They can't get you out of their head. Yeah, you guys are actually soulmates here. King to the Queen. They can't get you out of their head. It's almost like, to an extent, they're waiting for you to say something, text them, call them. So you can be this king or queen of cups, Scorpio. But I feel like it's this masculine here. And this could be another Scorpio, just another water sign. But this masculine water sign here is definitely in their head. They could just have water in their chart. Mm -mm. Yeah, they're in a lot of guilt, remorse, and regret here. Because you were loving, giving, you were fair to them. You shared your wealth with them. They feel like if they even try to attempt to come around, you're going to reject them anyway. Wow. Jesus Christ. They fucked up the bag. That's all it is. And now you're guarded, you're scared, and you have this wall up. You don't, you, mm -mm. You don't want anything else to do with them now. Wow. 
All right, Scorpio. So this is what I have for you as to why did your person go to you? What's really going on behind the scenes and everything that fell apart and actually like what happened during this whole thing. Okay. All right. So take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Like I said, I'm getting this could be a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, a Virgo, Aries, Sagittarius. So far for this person. Yeah. All right, guys, peace, love, and light. Thumbs up, comment below, and subscribe, and I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye.